Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue my exam result inside a parent side because last video I will show you like my exam result in the student side. So we need to continue this same result we need to show inside a parent side. So just I need to log out and I log in as a admin after I need to log in as a parent account. So just I log out now. Now, now I log in as an admin account like admin at the gmail.com after I go to any parents and I can copy and after I log in as a parent account so it's like, like this is the parent to at the test.com so just go to student one and we can check here like a parent one so let's check here name okay parent one so this student already there okay so I log out and I log in this parent to at the rate test.com and I already copy this email this reason I am pasting now and I will add password 1 2 3 4 5 6 because I have all the member created password 1 2 3 4 5 6 just I need to go my students and we need to add another button here like uh, my exam exam results like exam timetable calendar there after we need to made another button like uh, exam results so just go back to course resources inside we need to go to parents inside we need to go my students sorry yes my students and we need to create a new menu here means new button exam timetable so exam result okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like another menu exam results now let's make uh, this column big like 400 now i save i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it okay so now is the exam result exam timetable and exam results i just click on the exam results so we need to create new routes like exam results my student like exam timetable so change to exam results okay so just go to routes now and we need to create a new routes because we have changed here routes like a parents my students my slash exam result and after we have passed here like a one parameter like a student id so just go back and refresh the page i already refresh now i click on the exam result so we need to create a new route for the exam results so just go to routes instead need to go web.php and just we can find out like uh, i already copy like calendar one this reason just copy and we can do like this same copy and paste and after we need to change like a calendar to exam results and here we can change like a my exam result parents so we know okay, this is the only for parents okay so let's go same column means the same go to function i use otherwise you need to go app inside you need to go calendar one and here you can see like a my calendar parent so this is the part for the calendar side but we don't want to go here we need to just go to examination controller so just copy and change here controller examination controller also you need to put like a up with uh, exam timetable so just put here okay like we can do same like parent exam result okay i copy now i need to go parent my exam timetable so you can see here is a controller open like examination controller otherwise do you want to get app http inside need to go examination controllers and here i will create a new function like a parent my exam results functions parent exam result and also we need to pass here like a student id because we also always need a student id okay everything is good just go to back again and you need to go like uh, my exam result this is the exam result for the student so just copy all thing and paste here very carefully you can check okay so first you need to go to like a stitch student module my student module my student function my exam result inside you need to copy all the codes and just put bottom and after you, we have passed like here like uh, auth user id so just you can change here like to student id whatever we are receiving every place we are finding so just we can find and short out ok 
okay i will change here also i will change here let me show you like mark register model so mark register model inside you can see it like a get exam so how we can get the exam student id again so we have made here group by so only we can get like a exam ids after exam id and exam name also we get a exam name because we have made a here join query this reason after i get a exam id so exam id again i will get a student wise like a subject list so you can see it like a all the subjects okay so everything is clear now i think you have no issue okay so like uh, get data results there and here also there dollar data results so we are we need to change here like a student to we need to change here like a parents and also we need to create a new file inside a parents like resources inside views inside need to go parents and just create a new file blade.php and after you need to go like student folder inside just need to copy my exam result all part and after you need to paste here and save the file okay what i did first i go to my exam results and i copy all thing and after i paste years okay so just go back again refresh the page so we can check work not work so everything working very well you can see it like also here there my exam my student uh, yes my student inside we have made another banner exam results exam result again so you can go so you can see it like a, this is the student result like a student one suppose i go to student two so here is a result there so showing so here no any result there this reason not showing so this is the student one is a result there this reason here showing but we also need to show here like a student name so we know okay, what is the student you are go because otherwise we are confusing what is the student name so here showing the student one so we also need to show here student one after i will explain what i did inside but i have already everything explained in a student set suppose you uh, follow like a last two video so you can easily understand this reason i told you you can check carefully because we are doing here copy paste work okay so just we need to do another query here like a get student just copy a line like a users and put here and user inside we have created like a get user get single function so you can see it like this here okay and we can pass this the get student to inside a data just you can use like a data and this is the row we need to pass inside a I mean this is the variable inside we need to pass like a view we already passed data so automatic password and this is the get student inside we can get all the information about the student because here is a function there inside a users so you can see it here see get single and get single inside we can get the data and we have puts so let's go back again and we need to go like uh, my exam results and we need to show his name so just go to another file any file suppose you can go my exam timetable so we can find out also just copy and paste here <laughs> because i am doing very quickly so what i did just go to any files just i go to my exam timetable i will just copy this name and i have paste here like we have already passed this is the get student variable inside a views so automatic works so let's just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a student one suppose i go to students again i can click on the exam results so you can see like a student two okay so what i did what i explained i think you can understand now what i did so what i did i get get record one variable here so get record we have created one result variable result variable inside we are getting the exam whatever there for this student what is the total exam there so here is a two exam there so two exam we are showing here after we did like a get only exam ids and exam names okay and after exam name wise we can get a means exam id wise we can get a get exam student so, means subject so just we have created like this function so before we did like get exam only id get after we get like exam id and student id against get a marks and after we have made a two join query like exam name also we can get and also we can get like a subject also we can get so just refresh the page again so you can see it i think now clear i don't want to explain anything i don't know so do you want to not understand so you can make comment and let me show you another thing like uh, what i can show 
everything is clear so what do you want to see percentage work so you can see it here percentage before we have created three variables and three variable we have declared here and three variable wise we have made a here calculation and also we use a like validation variable so we can check anybody can fail so going to else part so we made like a one after we can make condition is equal to is equal to zero so it's pass otherwise we are going to fails so everything is good just I have copy paste works and uh, now no anything else so just like my student inside we have created a new menu exam timetable exam not a exam results exam results inside I can show the my exam result for the student like uh, whatever student you are there like son daughter whatever there and I think done do you have any questions so please comment and do you want to let me show you the database so it's good for you so you can easily understand what I did okay database like a exam mark registers taking few seconds Mm, open taking few seconds next video we can continue about uh, like new modules so i can show you what we need to do F first i will think what i need to do after i can tool you next video because this video after is like examination part is done because we are doing the like examination exam scheduling everything we have done so just go to like uh, mark register so you can see it like uh, here is the data there this data wise we are getting the information inside a mark register here you can see like here we have passed like exam id and student id so here you can go and check like exam id 1 and student id 14 so like 1 1 and 2 so is a 2 time we have found the exam id because we have made a group by this is any showing here 1 and second one here showing after like 1 1 so 6 record there so 6 record here showing and like a two means the two records showing the year showing the two records so you can follow last two video so you can easily understand okay and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching